The base blockchain has been getting a lot of traction recently, so I figured it would be a good time to make an overview of how to get started in base and what you need to know. Without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Base is an Ethereum layer two blockchain, and it's actually incubated by none other than Coinbase, which is one of the largest centralized exchanges in the world and the largest in the United States market with over $130 billion worth of assets. When comparing base to other L2s out there, there really isn't too much of a difference other than the fact that Coinbase is really Really throwing a lot of resources into this chain to get a lot of adoption and a lot of different projects building. Like other Ethereum L2s out there, they have lower transaction fees as well as fast transactions on the chain. They actually just got 10 times cheaper after the blob space upgrade that just happened on Ethereum. Their main claims to fame or arguments are big feature, small fees, get the EVM environment at the fraction of the cost and get early access to Ethereum features such as account abstraction, simple developer APIs for gasless transactions and smart contract wallets. And then they're using Optimism's OP stack in order to be open source. And then once again, the biggest differentiator when it comes to this L2 versus others out there is the fact that it's scaled by Coinbase and they're putting a lot of their own resources into it. So very similar to a Binance-like situation is kind of how I view it. They're a major centralized exchange. They have tons of money, tons of funds, and now they can funnel those different funds into building out a blockchain. And the last major point that I want to make is that currently based on the last 90 days, it's actually 10 times cheaper than Ethereum. And I think it's even more so than that because the amount of transactions in the past month have over doubled, yet the actual cost have decreased due to this new blob space upgrade on Ethereum. So it's pretty cheap in order to operate on this whole entire blockchain. I'll have this document in the description of this video if you want to learn more about base, but it's pretty straightforward overall. One of the interesting things about base as of recently, especially over the past month, is just the amount of additional money flow heading into that ecosystem. And as you see in the past month, their TVL has grown by 88%. And one of the nice things is, is because it is EVM compatible, it's very easy for other projects to simply import their dApps and or input support onto this chain. The chart here shows just how crazy base has actually been over the past month. You can see that the volume has really skyrocketed in March, as well as the overall TVL going with this. And this is a pretty common occurrence whenever you have a lot more money flowing in, you're also going to have a lot more volume and a lot more fees. In order to get started in the base ecosystem, you're going to need a Chrome extension wallet. You can use something like MetaMask, but I highly recommend Rabi Wallet, and I'll put this in the description. I like to use Rabi because not only are they going to have an airdrop, even though it's most likely going to be oversaturated, on top of it, it's actually way better than using MetaMask. And I think if you play around with it for a while, you'll start to like it a lot more. So I'll have a referral link in the description if you actually want to use Rabi and check it out. As far as a decentralized exchange or a place to buy all these different tokens on base, I highly recommend using LlamaSwap. LlamaSwap is an aggregator that doesn't take any fees. They simply make their money off of a referral links and affiliate links on all of these different platforms. And I found the cheapest rates to happen on LlamaSwap. There's also different Telegram bots out there. A lot of them are private. If you're trying to do these quick trades on all of these memes, one of which is called Thunder Terminal. And then there's also different bots out there that take a percent fee as well that you'll have to look into yourself. If you wanted to bridge some money over to base, you can use something like dbridge.finance that is going to have an airdrop in the future and is honestly a really great bridge. And you can bridge all sorts of different base pairs such as Ethereum, BNB, Solana, Polygon, Arbitrum. You guys can see the list over into the base ecosystem. So as you can see here, I can take 0.1 Ethereum on ETH and then I can bridge that over to base, which is this little blue icon. And once again, you'll be able to see that base token pair or that base blockchain in the selection. Now, as far as projects that have been releasing on the base ecosystem, a lot of the ones recently have been meme coins and they have been popping off very similar to what's been happening with Solana. But I expect that as time goes on, we'll start to see a lot more dApps that are actually building on top of base or integrating their services into the base ecosystem. I haven't seen too many places to buy NFTs as of yet on base, but I was recommended to check out Zorro.co. I haven't messed around with the site yet, but it looks like you can mint some different NFTs coming out, probably very early and probably very degen if you were looking into the NFTs. Now on the flip side, the actual meme coins have been going on the craziest runs, very similar to what's been going on in Solana. And over this past month, there have been people that have made a crazy amount of money getting into these base meme coins early. If you haven't seen my meme coin video, I just posted it a couple days ago. And this goes over some of my tips and tricks when it comes to trading memes. But one of the best ways to find these different memes 
15 coins is going to be deck screener. Over on this left hand side, you can simply select base as your main blockchain and you'll be able to see all of the different pairs that are coming out as well as some of the top gainers and just some of the tokens that are trending. Now I wanted to show you guys a list of some of the different meme coins that are out that seem to be getting a decent amount of traction as well as some other projects that are on my radar. I don't know if it's too late to get into some of them, but I'm at least paying attention to them as well as new memes that are coming out every day. The first one is Normie Base. Normie Base is actually the largest meme coin on base. They hit over a $100 million FDV just recently and they seem to be getting the most amount of traction as the number one meme coin on base. So definitely have it on your radar. And once again, I haven't actually gone out and bought this token yet. It's simply on my radar and I'm going to be looking for more opportunities. A couple more to have on your guys' radar is Dog In Me, as well as Dgen. We also have Brett, then we have Burning Circle, we have Aerodrome, and then we also have Toshi Base. Now these weren't all meme coins, but like I said, these are just a couple on my radar. And overall, my thoughts and opinions in the base ecosystem is that it's still very early and it has a lot of potential simply because you have the security of the Ethereum layer one, you have much reduced transaction costs, especially with the blob space upgrade. And then you have Coinbase really backing this and investing into resources to really grow this out. And I believe that even though Base says that they aren't planning on having a token, they have said a lot of times in their different docs that they want to have governance for this actual blockchain. And whenever you have governance, typically they have some sort of token act as the governance token. So I'm not really sure how they can have that as their main mission to be completely decentralized and have, you know, gov a governance system without having a token. So this may or may not have a token in the future. I have no idea, but just realize that if you're interacting on this chain, there is a chance that there could be an airdrop in the future. And because Coinbase is located in the United States, they're probably being very careful as to mentioning tokens in general, especially with all of the different SEC lawsuits they've had to go through over the past couple of years and just how crazy the US has been in general when it comes to this crypto regulation or what they're calling crypto regulation. Overall, I'm really interested into paying more attention to base. And if they can do something even at the fraction of what Binance did with the Binance Smart Chain, then this could be an ecosystem that really explodes and is worth having on your radar and at least having money ready or the knowledge ready to get into these different opportunities when they come. Because like I said, over the past month, there have been people that have been making millions of dollars simply getting into these meme coins early when not a lot of people have been paying attention to it. And when you think about these blockchains, a lot of blockchain success comes from adoption. And that adoption is a lot of times coming from exposure. And I think Coinbase, especially over the next year or two in this bull run, is going to be able to provide a lot of exposure into their ecosystem. And it's still very early in general. So definitely have it on your radar. And who knows, maybe they'll do an airdrop middle of the bull run for people that are participating now. And that could be a massive gainer that no one's talking about because they said they're not doing a token, right? The very last note that I want to make here is if you're looking for some sort of alpha group or way to keep up with a lot of this different information and news happening in the space, feel free to join our discord in the description, open up a support ticket and say you'd like a trial pass. We'll give you a free trial pass to check out our discord where we're covering all these different plays and opportunities pretty early. That pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you all enjoyed it and I'll catch you all in the next one.